G'day guys, Trev here. I've got an analogy for you guys. My analogy is the way that the current smart switches are set up, you basically have to pull out your phone, sit there for like 20 minutes while it's fucking pair and doing all that sort of shit. Well, I reckon that's not the best way to do it. That's why I've wired up this switchboard. Now, I'll explain how it all should work and how I also control it at the moment, because we're still in the development phase. It's just this big board of remote controls. Plus, the relays down at the bottom here, they're also what switch it with an ESP chip up here. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. So I've just realized a little bit of an issue. Um, I'm kind of pushing as many, <laughs> because of the size of the relays that I've used, I'm really pushing my limit, my luck and for space in this joint. Which, which is also probably another reason people are gonna criticize me for using these. I do, in fact, got these little plastic vents with a little, mesh on them. I got these off the back of a, um, a, a chlorinator. But yeah, I had I had kind of planned to put cut them out of my little covers here to give some sort of ventilation as such for my relays. You know? And then here, you know, obviously cut some vents in there for it. Or we'll put a little or we'll put a little temp a fan with a temperature sensor on there. And fuck it, why not just add a smoke sensor in there too for the sake of it, because we can. You know, there's all this crazy shit you can do with this kind of setup. But yeah, my whole fucking dilemma is I can't fit this in here with my control panel. Whoops. I can't fit this in here with my little thing, the way that I've got this set up at the moment. I could probably mash it that way with a single DIN, and then I've got all these extra connections here for my 240 section. Yeah, and really that's probably the only part where it's close to the mains. It's just here and there. All the rest is relatively safe in that regards. But I do want to hear actual legit engineers thoughts about this. Because the whole concept of using this, this uh, CT is that the computer knows that your mechanical switches are on and off. So if someone leaves a switch on and it knows that you're not home, well, just get the computer to turn it off. That's that's all that I think of. And the other thing too, it'll give you a good assessment of like where the power is being used and in what time of the day or whatever. So you can really control your house as well. And the, the extra bonus too is because I've got every single light channel back here as such, I can go put a smart, you know, I can put another switchboard down here and put every single one of them through like a, an RCBO that tests itself, a smart RCBO that tests itself like once a month or some shit. Test the circuit, electrical circuit. You can make this thing as fucking smart as you want it, as smart as your brain can fucking handle. But, obviously, Trevor's trying to fit too much in his little box. <laughs> we'll see what we come up with in the morning. But the joys of doing my own system, like I've still got lighting, it's running off the power uh, off the power circuit at the moment, so I'm not too worried. And I've still got internet. But yeah, I thought that's pretty cool. I reckon we can make it fit. Maybe like this. Yeah, I might have to do that to it. Just fucking slap it in there. Yeah, slap it in there. I could probably just whack that in there with a zip tie now that I come think. I think Trev was a little bit overzealous when he was putting wires in this panel. We do have our extra backup plan, which is adding an extra switchboard right down here. About the same size as this one. Because, uh, yeah. 
nothing nothing is working out for, for poor old Trevor at the moment. But anyway, let's fuck this shit off. Get some old mechanical switches back in. Get the show back up and running. Just to show you like, hey, I can make this shit compliant and uh, to local standards. I need it, I need it compliant to Australian standards. So I need that, so that ensures that the MCU has to be radio compliant and ensures all my relays and stuff have to be compliant. I remember these, these fuckers are UL listed. Like, go look up the fucking specs of them, man. Go look up the specs of them. They are UL listed. Look at the, look, look at how it's constructed too. It's like I didn't, I actually went and looked for something that was half decent. Like, they aren't shit relays, so they do the job, but I mean, they aren't fucking the best thing in the world. And obviously that's a home job. I've put that together myself. Uh, we'll pull that apart. We're going to rip all this whole thing out and we're going to go and <laughs> install switches. Boring ass switches. Because essentially, this is all it is. It's just a one big two way switch. I haven't really explained much about my retrofit design process. Essentially, the bastards that just ran the cables across the trusses here, I fucking hated that. So I put Trey in there. I had to add in all my extra twins. Initially, they had, you know, switch, switch wires here and on the other side. That, I ended up having to put a switchboard here to accommodate for all those switches. And that's why I now have all these extra five switches here because they're the extra switch wires that I ran back to the board here. So I've got every single switch wire to every single light goes into this control panel. And that's how I wanted it wide. That is the really, really the retrofit process which takes so, so long. And obviously I didn't have enough room and we've still got this fucking shit on the floor here. So limited space, limited materials with what I had to work with. And um, yeah, limited funds too, because I couldn't just rip out all that workmanship that had been done. I actually had to kind of use what they already did. So that was annoying. But you got to deal with what you... Well, beggars can't be choosers, isn't that the saying? Beggars can't be fucking choosers. I just wanted to press through some of the things that have changed. I need more of these suckers, man. So what's going to happen? All this fucking mess in behind this CT panel. We're going to put connectors up here. It's going to nicely run through there. I can have my switches where I want it. I can rewire that where I want it. It's going to be a lot more needed than, by the, than the way it is at the moment. But essentially, the neutrals and earths are looking very pretty at the moment. Um, I'm very happy with, with, with how it's come, turned out. I know where exactly all my wires go. I understand my layout of my circuits. I mean, like it was, it's pretty fucking full on. You wanna look at my little schematic here? Like, yeah, here's what, um, here's Trevcad 101. So that's just, it in a nutshell and this is nothing like this is two st electrical stands I can whack this back on the board and you know way things go and then if I want to include some smarts I've got all the capabilities of doing so let's put them on a little two amp breaker my um my bathroom I need to have more than 10 amps so I put it you know it's obviously fed by a 16 amp breaker but I've also found in amongst the mixed me being me, I've, I've wired some cables with one mil. So I have to limit that factor. So that's why I've got a 10 amp breaker here on those ones. But I can run capacity to things. You know, I can have the, you know, RCD protection. I have the smart breakers. This is only, this is phase one. You should see <laughs> the switchboard that I put below. That's where all that extra wiring went. Um, yeah. This project's becoming a little bit uh, full on. Okay, not sure which little last bit I filmed, but I made it better. Made it somewhat neater. I'm gonna have to put another junction down there and I fucking run out of connectors again. The little Chinaman fucking ripped me off. So now I'm still half finished. I've got some connectors there, but not enough. But might be enough to get the majority of it up and going. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how it's kind of looking. I'm happy I've got this here, so I can fucking change all this shit as I please now. 
and the wiring for the house is here that doesn't have to change all this here i can go change as i please same same sort of thing will happen up here and we still got to run some more connectors up through the mod bus anyway I'll let you know how i'm going with it you know there's one thing i've realized when i've done this panel i try to make it look nice and neat and obviously i've I ordered the two, I ordered three actually initially because I wanted it really small and compact, but they were too big. But to, for my infinite wisdom, I haven't used the second path of these, so I have to go through them now. I'm gonna take out this big chunk from here and that should give me some more room. Hopefully fit, I don't know, power supply up here. I might change it around a bit, but I'm starting to get some decent room in here now. It's how I wanted it <laughs> initially to be. So I've taken a big chunk out of her, tidied all that up. But now I can go move your power supplies up here. This power supply can go live down there. Got this room for my mod bus and my micro controllers now. So it's actually starting to look like something. See this connector block? Well, this amount of connectors anyway. This has got to stay because all this cable's got to go somewhere. Now, <laughs> my relays were going to sit here. I was going to put the power supply there and I was thinking oh, I'll just chuck the ESP there but obviously I can run out of room there <laughs> so now its power supply has got to love, live up here but the issue is I still, I've got to drill another fucking hole in this cunt fuck man how many more wires can I fit in this thing it's becoming a joke I've got my last hole left and it's gonna be for data. And that's my best segregation I can do for you guys. <laughs> I gotta find some little pink shit for you. The the pink shielded uh, cat five, cat six shit. That's what we're gonna use, okay? All right. Okay, well, I've just about done the uh, 240 volt wiring. One of these switches I've got around here has got a fucking dimmer on. Now, I don't want that dimmer on all the time. I want it on the switch end. But luckily, my control panel is just here. So, what we gotta do is just run a bit of twin between here. So I'm gonna have to split this, split this up all this shit apart again. I've got room, look at it, I've got room for it. Split it apart again, add another bit of twin. So I've got another connector. And then, and then I think it's all done in that regard. Got my connector here ready to go through all this shit. And it doesn't have to be this shit. I can pull this shit out anytime I feel like it. That's the whole beauty of it, setting it up like this. Um, and then we go down here, because this is where all the magic happens, in my little fucking Songul Central. So I've got everything here. So I don't know if you can see at the back there, you got like 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X, oh, it goes all along. I got a few little uh, bits and pieces here. I've got a join here. I've got one, maybe I've got a couple of spares here too. And one to 16. So, you know, how's a two way wide? These are all my switch, switch wires. This feed is in the uh, field. So, yeah, twin. Twin and the um, SDI. Twin and SDI, twin and SDI. All the way along. <laughs> and that allows me, what well, allows the computer anyway, to two way any normal switch, switches that are in the field bit of scraps in there. Anyway, I'm gonna go have a beer. <laughs> Cause um, this has been really fucking time consuming this project. And we can go finish up all our IO, do all the pass throughs and fucking get this show on the road. It's not, not bad how these connectors part away. So I, <laughs> I can add shit still. But I'm fucking running out of room this well. There ain't no more room left in here. Trust me. Okay, we've got it all fired up. Well, I haven't got it fired up yet. So this is this little temporary link I got for my little fuse. I need to find some more of these fuses. But I'm about first, uh, not the first time. Version two, I'm about to fire it up. I haven't even put it, haven't even put my mains cables in yet. This is just, um, I just finished doing all the IO. So, 
try to do this as neat as possible and fucking double insulate the fuck out of this. I know that the figure eight isn't double insulated, but um, yeah. All I was more concerned about is just the IO because that'll fuck up my MCU. Anyway, let's go flick the switch, boys. I reckon it's all flames. No, not all flames. Yeah. Cool, I'm gonna go check it out. The lights are on, everyone's home. So, once that gets in the air, I should still be able to control my relays out of the box, which is good. This is how it's meant to work. But obviously, I still need to <laughs> get another little, got to put do an MQTT to, um, to mod bus here. That's what we're doing with this one. And then we're going to fuck around with it in home assistant. There you go. What was it on? Is it on? Is it on? Or do I need to reprogram this fucker? Anyway, I'll give myself a bit of room. But so much better now. I've got so much more fucking room. And all this shit can go lay down here. Come on, get online, you bastard. Okay, this is pretty cool. She's all fucking wired up. Mod bus is all not really complete. <laughs> Still gotta put that module in. But the relays are functional, so it will work. Um, the light switches and that will work, and I can still turn it on and off with the little computer. But I oh, have all of that other fucking shit. But now it's done. Let's go pair it up, eh? You. I line up when I have a mistake. Now, I thought the middle was common. Well, <laughs> it's not. If you look fucking carefully down here. You can just see a bit of the text. There's normally closed, normally open, and then common. Fuck. I was worried while I was getting 240 volts across my strappers. Look how it's wired. Look how it's fucking wired. All of them. I fucking wired them all wrong. Hilarious. Anyway, fun and joys of commissioning. You, you gotta make some mistakes in the process, hey? So here's the explanation on, you know, two different ways that you can wire a two-way. So I didn't really want to do it like the top way because it's just a bit annoying for fault finding for guys. We're, we're mostly being taught the bottom way. But either or, and just because of my, the way my goat pen was wired and the cabling's already been run, I have to wire it this way. Okay, so now, now the fun begins. We can go start building our fucking electronics up. So that means that I don't have to build this particular mod bus controller i'm gonna see if i can design my own for example but i know the effort that's involved in calibrating all the cts and all that sort of shit that's kind of what i want to use an off the off the shelf uh, product but same thing with my micro i want to build a pcb board that fucking matches here and uh same goes with my relays although these are these are not bad relays like if you look oh fuck can i even get a good, a good shot in here they've got like they've got opto isolators and shit in there okay it's not a, it's not a bad little setup. She's pretty, she's pretty well safe. She's pretty fucking dusty, actually. Well, so that's all, that's all my isolation. And I've tried my best here. I think I gotta lift this one up. But as you can see, I've, I'm pretty well getting my hands in here with it on. This is all extra low voltage where my hand is. But that's kind of how I wanted it set up. Cause I know how fucking pedantic some of these guys are. This is on too, so yeah, don't go touch any of this shit. If anyone can give me an advice to um, get little plastic covers for these, I think they're really, really my own little thing. Cause you can probably accidentally wipe your pinky in there or wipe a cable on there if, if it could be. Okay, so I can actually start getting some switches on the wall. I need another fucking six gang. I might pinch the six gang that's in my bathroom because one of those switches isn't. I haven't got my vanity in yet. <laughs> anyway, there's two six gangs here, either side of that. And, you know, there's a lot going on in here. There's a fucking lot going on. Okay, I just wanna go through the overlay from top to finish of how this board is constructed. Essentially, all the switch wires come to here, right? They come through this and then they go through this mud, mud bus device. Some of the neutral and earths though do live out in the field for it. So that's why I've got like some of the neutral and earths are missing up here. 
Okay, so that explains that. Now these two power supplies, that's is only protected by this circuit breaker. I can't shut it down from here. I actually have to go out to my circuit board outside to go do that. Um, I've tried to earth all these fucking bars too. Um, missing one here. If anyone wants to shout me out some free gear, that'd be great. Um, all this other shit though, uh, this is where this is where I need some engineers help with about uh, trying to get shit for approval because you know I've just bought all this shit from AliExpress to be quite honest with you. Um, okay, so this is my Modbus device and this is what we're building up to now. This is like version bloody two of this thing. Okay, so this is what we're working on now. The idea is because I've got mechanical switches, no fancy switches out here. This is the, this, the whole idea of this is that, so that any electrician can go wire this thing up, program it. And, and it's going to last the, the test of time. Like I'm saying like, you know, 30 years is what I'm hoping to, for this thing to, to last for. Um, but, because at the moment, I don't currently like how the, the smart switches are, are going to go for people, especially all this cheap tour crap. Okay, so this is all going through. These are all running back down to my relays, down the bottom there. So I've got another junction here to here to go through that. And this is where the brains happen at the moment, which is just a little ESP8266. I've got a little multiplexer there. And um, I'm just feeding two Cat5 cables, really, that just push the I.O. through there. And that's what this green thing is. It's actually all, I've tried to shield the crap out of it. Well, I've just got, um, it's not actually shielded. I probably should have used some, um, that pink Clipsal um, C-Bus shit. So, but yeah, that's my, that's basically my little brain box. And all it's doing is uh, just getting uh, MQTT commands, like just telling the relay to turn on and off at the moment, uh, which is how it works. Now, I know I'm probably gonna get a question saying, what happens when you wanna turn it on with the radio, but it's turned off here? And that's a good question. The way how I'm gonna solve that problem is through this device. So I'm gonna have another device this this one here that I plan like to build the electronics for, it's gonna also have a little radio chip in there that's gonna read the 433 megahertz. And it's just basically gonna steal those those codes off those devices. None of them, are, I think only one of them is smart. But yeah, that's how I plan on doing it. Uh, yeah, all these, all of my fan controllers, they're just recycled. So I'm just saving the environment. These are all gonna go on the bin actually. It's pretty funny. Right here. Yeah, this is it. This is what runs, runs me show at the moment. The old, um, where is it? I forget. The model was on the back. But yeah, just a Linux computer.